there i am super excited because today i'm going to reveal the biggest secret to flawless skin and makeup but i'm not doing it by myself today i'm so excited because i have miss Marsha of very clear skin you guys and she is going to help break down for those women who feel like I don't want to wear makeup because I can't get rid of my dark spots so I don't like my skin. Um, for those who feel like, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't wear makeup because your skin looks horrible. For those who have constant breakouts, dark spots, uneven skin tone. For those who feel like my skin is just not giving what it's supposed to give when I wear my makeup. Regardless of how well you can do your makeup, we talking about underneath because... The makeup don't change your skin, right? <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the makeup don't change your skin, but you know that your skin can be a little bit more flawless so that your makeup can look even more flawless. Then I'm telling you right now, you want to watch this live with Marsha and Very Clear Skin. Now, I'm looking at my notes over here on my computer so I won't miss anything. And I'm excited that y'all are jumping in and I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, and so we're going to jump in and get started. If you are new here, my name is Z and I know that so many women struggle with doing their makeup at home. They end up getting lost in YouTube, ending up frustrated with their, ba frustrated with their basic beat. And that's why I created Beauty For Us University, you guys. This is where I teach you what to buy and how to apply brown girl friendly makeup so you can learn step by step how to look good feel good and apply your makeup with confidence so i like to bring you guys lives that is really going to get down to the nitty and the gritty all right so i'm excited because very clear skin is here before she jumps on i got to do my little psa in my commercial you guys i'm super excited that this <laughs> this live is brought to you by matter brushes matter brushes is the perfect brush set and it really works as a system especially for makeup beginners who have no clue on what to do with their makeup even if you're not a makeup beginner and you've been using brushes like this you this is what your brushes look like on your vanity then you want to definitely get into matter brushes these number these brushes are especially different because they are numbered in the order in which you should use them and that way you are less confused when you are applying your makeup the brushes that start with e are for your eyes and they're literally numbered e1 e2 e3 e4 and they have descriptive um descriptive names so you can be sure that you're doing the right thing if you just want a basic beat then the brushes that start with an f they are for the face and they are literally numbered f1 f2 f3 f4 and so on and so forth so get you a set of matter brushes and you want to make sure you get this holder as well this holder is so that you can get away from this and you can get organized and you can actually see the names of the brushes on your um vanity this is going to change the game especially if you are a beginner and you can visit matterbrushes.com matterbrushes.com matter of fact for those who add both items to the cart use the code vip 1111 and i will send you this for free i'll send you the holder for free vip 1111 and i'm gonna send you that holder for free Yes, thank you so much. Matter brushes are a game changer for everyone, including beginners. Absolutely. Um, Iris, that's Iris Vivacious Pinky. Uh, she got her brushes. Super, super, super exciting. Um, okay, Marsha, I know you're here. If you could just click the request button down at the bottom, we can jump in and get started. I'm super excited for everybody to get to know you. Let me put the title down here so when people jump in, they can see. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Yeah, this is going to be so much fun. I'm really excited because I really, really want people who struggle with their skin, especially if your skin is sensitive to makeup. You want to watch this too. It's going to be, it's going to be so fruitful. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Try to put y'all hands together. Add you some hand clap emojis in the comments for Marsha. Hi. You look beautiful, Marsha. I'm great. Thank How are you? you. 
I am good. I'm trying to get this phone situated. Fantastic. <laughs> yes, y'all put the hand clap. Thank you, twin. I can always count on twin to, to do right. Thank you, twin. <laughs> okay, so you guys, I'm super excited, y'all, uh, to have Marsha because Marsha is the owner of not just any skincare line, y'all. I'm talking about the award winning. Beyonce recognized. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Very oh, clear. Thank you. Um, so Marsha, introduce oh, yourself and tell us <laughs> introduce yourself and tell us um about your line and how you got started. <laughs> okay, so how I got started was actually in my mom's kitchen. Um what happened was I was looking for things for hyperpigmentation, like in the local beauty supply store and in Whole Foods. And that was about maybe two, three years ago when they weren't really as inclusive as they are now. So I was like, you know what? Let me try and mix something together. But then I thought about um, things that my mom used to put together when I was younger. My mom's from Trinidad. So, you know, her thing was like turmeric, um, aloe, stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Let me try and do a little something like that. So I started mixing it together. And then that was the first time I actually saw like results from my hyperpigmentation and my skin was going at the same time. So, you know, I tried it on family and friends and I was like, you know what? What if I added stuff like vitamin C in and kojic acid and stuff like that that I really knew was good for hyperpigmentation and try to package it that way instead of like a messy mask. And that's pretty much how I started. Awesome, awesome. So let me slow down just a little bit. Um, so typically I have a lot of makeup beginners, those who are not familiar with makeup, not even familiar with a skincare routine. Um, mm -hmm. So let us know what hyperpigmentation actually is. So hyperpigmentation is basically, you know, I got this, this crazy filter on. <laughs> so basically hyperpigmentation is a skin condition. So say if you have acne, um, sometimes you get it from like during pregnancy, but it's basically dark spots. It's darkening of the skin. And it's when the melanocytes kind of come to protect like a wounded area. So the wound would probably be a you breakout. Got, you, got, you, got to, you got to tell us what melanocytes are in. <laughs> well, basically like, okay, when you have melanated skin, you have, you know, everybody pretty much has them, but the darker your skin tone is, the more you have. So that's why hyperpigmentation impacts people of color more because melanocytes are something that like rushes to the site to kind of protect it, to help it heal. And so even though that's a good thing, the bad thing is you end up with hyperpigmentation while your skin is trying to heal from the traumatic event, which is either acne, a breakout, you know, whatsoever. So that's what that is. And so there's so many things that are on the market. I know a lot of our people use things like skin bleach, and that's what I was finding in beauty supply store, like, you know, um, hydroquinone and stuff like that. The problem with that is if you overuse it, you can actually have, um, you can worsen your, your hyperpigmentation and it actually has really negative effects on your, you know, on your internals. That has like a lot of mercury in it and there are studies that have shown that it can really impact your skin health and your health later on. So that's why I created Very Clear because I did just, I didn't want that problem, especially in our communities. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. um, look, protect the people. <laughs> I'm telling you. So what do you feel like makes a very clear skin um, unique? And tell us about your signature product. Okay, so my signature product is this serum right here. Um, what makes it unique, honestly, is its origins. Like, it's really heartfelt. Like, it comes from my mom. Like, and my mom, she actually passed a few months before I launched my brand. So mm. she is, like, behind all of it spiritually. She is the one I dedicate this to. Um, and again, like the base ingredients are based off of masks that she used to make when I was a little girl. Like I literally used to remember us traveling in Trinidad because she's from Trinidad, but she later moved to England. Long story. But anytime we'll go there, she'll like pick all these aloes and the turmeric and put all that stuff together, make a brew. And I'm just sitting there like, what are you doing? You know, <laughs> and it should be walking around the house looking crazy. And, you know, again, it's not till I got older that I realized what it was so you know and then they used to have everything chickens back there anything they had their own old farm back there yeah chickens <laughs> they used to have their whole garden back there back in the day so awesome. it's pretty much where i got it from yeah awesome awesome so mm -hmm. let's 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 talk about the real problem right so okay we've been talking about skin and i have a lot of even when i did makeup so i retired makeup 
retired from doing makeup after 10 years um, this year. And I experienced with so many of my clients, um, a lot of them are more concerned about, you know, mm -hmm. there's, even though I did their makeup and it looks good, they're still mm -hmm. like critical. I'm like, dang, I'm looking at this spot and I yeah. don't know what to do with it. You know, uh, it, it's not that it wasn't covered, but they can see the texture from, mm -hmm. from that underneath their makeup, which was affecting them like, mm, I, I'm really concerned about the spot. Regardless of how beautiful of a job I did, they're still mm -hmm. paying attention to the texture of their skin. So <clears throat> let's talk about the real, some of the elements of the real problem. So for me, mm -hmm. I think the first thing that people should understand, and y'all put type this in the comments because we're going to take notes today. The first thing that people should understand that makeup is not used to remedy your right. skin a lot of people use makeup to conceal the skin and that Absolutely. can be an issue mm -hmm. and what do you how do you feel about that, marcia people using makeup to conceal instead of using mm -hmm. makeup to enhance well, that was definitely my thing. Like, when I did use makeup a lot, it was to conceal my hyperpigmentation. Mine um, came from, like, ingrown hairs on my chin. And then any breakout mm -hmm. I would have, you know, and it, I became so self-conscious. So leaving the house, I definitely had to put on some form of something on my skin to leave. Because I used to feel like people just staring straight at my at my skin, honestly. So yeah. a lot of times, you know, makeup should be, like, an enhancement. But instead, we use it to conceal, like, everything. And, yeah. um... It's unfortunate because I think what what it what it is is like especially in makeup you have to look for certain ingredients right so while we're using the makeup to conceal a lot of times the ingredients the makeup in the first place is also causing you know that to go on hold on head in hold on give me one moment oh you're fine so <clears throat> I know that we're gonna okay we're definitely gonna jump into um those those harmful harmful ingredients and i want to go ahead and go go there now mm -hmm. what are some of those harmful ingredients that we should look out for one of them is um silicones i'm not gonna lie and they're in everything so if you see dimethicone i think you see cyclomexone as well a lot of times when they end with own at the end or cone at the end it's the silicone so you won't see silicone in the actual thing but then it also depends on how high up on the list the methicone or the cyclomexone is so typically if it's within the first three to five ingredients you know that um it's probably like heavily concentrated with silicone because what silicone is, is it's supposed to be a protectant and it's supposed to seal stuff in. The problem is when you have acne prone skin or blemish prone skin, you need your skin to breathe because we already have that oily skin thing going on where our um, pores could already get clogged. So when you put that stuff with the methicone and stuff in it, which is also like in sunscreen and stuff like that, you can actually make it worse. And so I see a lot of people and me included We'll put the makeup on to conceal it when we're actually just adding to the problem. So that's why it's very important to look at ingredients, not only in your skincare, but also in your makeup as well. Okay, ladies, pop quiz. What <laughs> is the suffix that we are looking for that might be harmful to our skin in our makeup? Now, we're going to go back to school. I know y'all don't remember prefix and suffix. Prefix is like the, the part of the word that's before. Right. <laughs> suffix is the end of the word. <laughs> now, Marsha broke down the suffix we should be looking for. Come on, right. Coon. I know that's right. There we go. We got some scholars here. We can, and those who, listen, those who were not scholars, y'all probably richer than us right now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> for real Thanks. I know some people who was not making good grades and they was like yeah I'm gonna be rich like tomorrow and they are mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> so, Pretty much. you got it y'all so we definitely want to pay attention to those harmful ingredients shout out to BU Nation which is beautiful as university I love y'all appreciate y'all for showing up and paying attention y'all <laughs> so listen those harmful ingredients are just one element now, Marsha, I know we had our, you know, conversation before. So let's talk about the harmful habits. 
you ran down the list of yep. harmful habits that we have um, that keep your skin and your makeup from being flawless. Mm -hmm. And I want to, I want to insert this. I love how you talked about um, just how self-conscious you were. Mm -hmm. And I think that so many women suffer from that, but we don't talk about it. Right. We don't, um, you know, we are embarrassed by it. And Absolutely. I think if we take notes on this live, one, <laughs> and just make a decision to change some things that they can mm -hmm. actually turn around. But right. the most important thing, I just want to insert this, is that we have to prioritize. We have to make ourselves, put ourselves at the top of the list because it affects how we show up in mm -hmm. everything we do. And we were not created to be hidden. We were not created mm -hmm. to dig our light. We were created Absolutely. to shine as bright as we can. And we yes. can't do that if we don't take care of us first. So mm -hmm. let's jump into how these harmful habits are keeping us from the makeup and the skin that we love. Let's talk about <laughs> makeup white girl. Well, that's the thing. So they're a, a gift and a curse, to be honest. Like me, especially in college, I used to keep a set of makeup wipes by my bed because I figured, all right, I may not want to get them and wash my face, but I'm going to use the wipes to make sure I get everything off and then I'll wash it in the morning. That was my thing. I was not figuring out, well, why am I breaking out the next day from this? And the problem is two things. It could be the ingredients in the makeup wipes, but also you're not getting everything off. So even if you do use a makeup wipe, which I don't really suggest to use, but if you do, you have to follow up with washing off. I don't care how lazy you feel because it may just be the catalyst to a bump that you're going to get and you've been working on your skin. And it's nothing worse than when you're working on your skin and then you get this random breakout and then all of a sudden you got to treat that. Mm -mm. So honestly, the and then also makeup wipes can cause micro tears in the skin too, depending on how rough you are with them. And those micro tears can give way to like getting bacteria in the skin. And you just, you don't even know because the bacteria could come from your fingertip. So say if you have a micro tear, next thing you know, you go, you're touching your face, whatever, whatever. And then the next day of a break, I ain't trying to figure out, well, I wiped everything off. Why, you know, why did it not, why did I break out? And that's probably So why. really you saying, get our little lazy tails up and go wash our face. That's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, um, I have a question here. What do y'all use instead of makeup wipes? So, what I what I heard Marsha say was that mm -hmm. it could be makeup wipes, the ingredients mm -hmm. in makeup wipes that are stopping you, but that does not mean you cannot use makeup wipes. You just right. need to double cleanse. I want y'all to touch your neighbor in the comments and say double cleanse. <laughs> Everybody type double cleanse in the comments. That means double, double is two. Clean. Cleanse is clean. Clean two times. <laughs> yes. And I was talking about that earlier today. I mean, right. earlier this week, actually, because double cleansing, to answer that question. So say if you, you know, you want to use an alternative to makeup wipes. Double cleansing is basically going in with something that's oil-based to take off the makeup first so that you can go in with your cleanser after. And why oil-based? Because there's oil in the makeup anyway. So oil is going to break down the oil. The water is not necessarily going to break down the oil first. So if you get like, there's like oil cleansing bombs on the market. When you say an oil bomb, I'll try those, right? But if you have oily, acne prone skin, you got to be careful because the bombs have um, wax in them. And wax is another um, pore clogging ingredient as well. And if you don't get that off, that's a whole nother problem. So the oils that I suggest are sunflower oil, safflower oil, grapeseed oil, Sometimes you can do like a jojoba oil, which is J-O-J-O-B-A oil, because that really mirrors the sebum of our skin makeup. And then um, some people use sweet almond oil as well. But if you have a nut allergy, don't use that. But you can get those from um, like Whole Foods in your Whole Foods section. I'd rather the organic kind. Um, stay away from coconut oil. I know we probably all know that already, but don't use coconut oil. Coconut oil is also clogs your pores. And even though they got a nice organic kind, just stay away from it. Um, but it breaks down all the oil, um, the sunscreen. If you wear sunscreen, definitely makeup. And you have this nice sludge going on with all your, you know, all your makeup. And that's how you know. You carefully, um, you could wipe it off or you could go in and then go in with your cleanser and then massage it in. When I say skin be on point after that, 
because it helps remove that stuff. Now, another indicator that you're not getting your makeup off wet is if you use like a toner and your toner pad is still brown or it still has your makeup remnants on it, chances are you didn't get all the makeup off. So say you're washing your face, right? You're trying to get the stuff off, but you really haven't. Then you turn around and put a moisturizer on top of that and your face is still dirty. Then you turn around and put on makeup again tomorrow. Like it's like this never ending effect of like your skin is just not clean. And then so it's like a cycle because it's like you got to put the makeup on to conceal the issue, but really we're causing the issue in the first place. It's just like, oh my God. So, <laughs> but I'm telling you, double cleansing is a game changer. There's some, actually, there's some micellar waters on the market now that are a lot better before some of them had alcohol in them. You got to look out for that too. Drying alcohols, um, because all alcohols are not bad. I hate when people say like, you know, oh, if it got alcohol in it, don't use it. There's actually alcohols on there that are emulsifiers. So they actually help bring oil and water together. And that's a whole nother topic for another day. But if they have like regular alcohol in it, especially towards the top of the list, that's like that drying alcohol. And um, what happens is if you over dry your skin out, then, and you have an oily skin, your skin tries to overcompensate and make up for the oil is not getting. Your skin gets oilier, especially in the T-zone section where mine loves to do, as you can see. And then it's a whole another roller coaster ride all over again. So you don't want to over dry your face either. So if you do use a micellar water, make sure it does not have like, um, you know, regular alcohol at the top. All right, child, we about to scribble to this and we got <laughs> because put some right. fire emojis down in the bottom if you just learned something. If if you know Marsha just dropped some fireballs in your makeup cleaning <laughs> situation, I want you to put some fire in the comments, okay? Pew, pew, pew. I wish I had my little DJ horn. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. <laughs> In the comments, tell me if there's something based on what Marsha just said that you need to shift in your skincare cleaning routine. I want to um, know. Let us know in the comments if there's something that needs to change, it needs to turn around. <clears throat> You're going to start tonight. You're going to fix it right now. You're going to go to the store today. You 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 going to get it together based on what we just talked about. Now, I want to highlight a few things. Now, I missed one of the oils that started with an S. What oil is um, that? That's safflower, so S-A-F-F flower, and then sunflower. Okay, safflower. I, mm -hmm. I don't know that flower. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, we got... Marsha is telling us to double cleanse in that we should use oil to break down the oil that's in the makeup products we are using. Mm -hmm. Okay. D, who is butterfly, butterfly diva here. Very, very good recap. Check the makeup balm for wax for her combination skin because the wax is um, able to clog your pores. Now, you'll usually see a large word that says non comodogenic. Okay. Right. Non comodogenic is just a big word for meaning that it is not going to clog your pores. So, you're looking for something that's non comodogenic. If I'm pronouncing right. it right, just I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right Definitely. or wrong, but usually there's context a question clue. here. Um, Ms. Davis is asking, do you use the oil after double cleansing? So the oil is part of the double cleansing. So you use the oil first, and then you use your cleanser after. So there's cleansing. Now, you can get cleansing oils on the market, right? They, they have some already prepackaged and made for you and so on, and you just got to look at the ingredients on that too. But if you want to just keep it simple and just grab something today, you could do some safflower, sunflower, um, twisted aloe that she uses, um, 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 almond oil, right? No, aloe. Avocado. <laughs> Was it avocado? I forgot. I think it was avocado. Yeah, mm -hmm. avocado oil, which is also it's very emollient. Um, I tend to find that it's really good for normal to dry skin types. Um, but avocado oil is a really good oil as well. Yeah, I'm taking those myself because mm -hmm. I want, for those who who miss this, I really want them to one watch the replay. But I want to keep continuing to pass this knowledge forward. And so when we take notes, you guys, note takers are game changers. So when we take notes, 
that is going Absolutely. to help you remember. That's why I have you guys typing in the comments and repeating what we're saying so you can actually remember when you get to the store and you ain't DMing. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us like that. What you say? What you say about uh? <laughs> So, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil. Um, if you have a nut allergy, stay away from the sweet almond oil. But if you if you are not you know, allergic to that, then sweet almond oil is fine as well. Absolutely. Now, pop quiz. Which oil should we stay away from? Pop quiz now. Which oil Ooh. should we stay away from? <laughs> Come on. Dum, 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 Which one now? Maybe it falls the class off the class is quiet. The class is quiet, Marsh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That we go. Ella. Okay, small. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Twisted <laughs> underscore aloe. Twi All right, now, I, I don't. I've never. I haven't seen your name on my on my timeline. Twisted underscore aloe. So let me know if you have a set of matter brushes because if you don't, then you just want to sit today. She is dope. Because you got too. the right purse. <laughs> you just want a set of metal brushes today, Ooh, girlfriend. We don't need it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. Okay. So DM me and let me know. Um, you know, you know, just DM me so I, I can find you. All right. Now that's just <laughs> harmful habit number one, you guys. Harmful habit number one is mm -hmm. using makeup wipes without properly cleansing or adding right. okay so okay. we cannot just use makeup wipes anymore sorry you know we just gotta adjust we can't exactly. do it anymore, all right mm -hmm. the second harmful habit <clears throat> is you know when we get stiff neck because we want to keep our makeup on to the next day we spent 150 dollars on our makeup <laughs> So we, we go to sleep like this because mm -hmm. we want to see it up. You guys, sleeping in makeup, I'm going to let Marsha go off on y'all about that. <laughs> let me tell you, I had a friend and she actually did something similar uh, where she got the, I mean, the beat was so pretty and she wanted to sleep in it because it's like, like you say, you pay some money for it. You look so freaking good, but I'm telling you, like, it's pretty much putting like just plastic over your face and keeping it there because your skin is not breathing at all. And when I say your I mean, mm -hmm. no light. So when you're doing that again, you're, you're clogging your pores the same way. Another thing too is when you sleep in your makeup, you're actually inducing wrinkles as well because they're sitting in the creases of your skin. And the more that you have it on like, okay, you got it on, say you had it for eight hours and then you about to have it on for another eight hours and actually can age you a lot faster. So you mm. gotta take it off. Mm-hmm. Mm. So don't don't listen. Tell the truth. Shame the devil, y'all. Right now. Who's been sleeping in their makeup? And who ha who has who has committed just now? You've rededicated your life and <laughs> and you are not gonna sleep in makeup anymore. Okay. It's okay. The doors the doors of new skin are open. And we, yeah. we that's right, Melissa. We appreciate you for raising your hand. All right. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. We are so I excited mean, that you are no longer sleeping in your makeup. We are going to have I know the struggle is real, but it you got to do it. I mean, the thing is, man, I'm telling you, like, because the beast be so pretty. I'm telling you, because I don't know how to like put on makeup at all really well so these brushes are definitely gonna help me like they are so beautiful oh my gosh let me tell you i have to build a whole separate theme just to put these on okay so ah! i am not like so i know i totally understand the whole thing about sleep because i'm telling you the beat takes a while even when i have shoots and the, um you know the models are putting on and even now with my shoots now it's minimal makeup because at the end of the day you know you're selling skincare not really makeup right but right, right. Oh my gosh, like, I understand. It's expensive. It's very expensive. I didn't even sleep in it. Or even when you take your time, like, I have much respect for y'all. Much respect because it is art. Putting on makeup is an art, okay? 
when I'm done, I look like homie the clown. So that's why I show up just like this. Cause I look a mess. So I know why you want to see people. You've done all the creativity to make the things come together. I ain't got it in me. Take, well, take off the makeup, though. I'm telling you. You have, to, you have to take it off. Now, LaWanda is asking about diet. So we're going to talk about that a little bit more towards the end. Okay. We're going we're gonna, to um, add that as our bonus uh, harmful habit. But let's just jump to the next harmful habit, which is cleaning your makeup tools. Yes, goodness. You got it. Oh, I'm guilty of that, I too. know you, you got your little nasty brushes sitting up there. <laughs> And you ain't clean them. I know this because that's why I have two sets. I got two, three sets that I work from. Mm -hmm. This one is dirty. This one is dirty. Ooh. I'm on my third rotation because I don't okay. feel like cleaning my brushes. Okay. I, listen, I know we don't feel like it, but we got to do it. Mm. We got to do it. So I, I keep I keep more 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 sets than I need just so I could be I could be ready. Okay. So how often do you clean them? When you do clean them, how often do you suggest? So I suggest now I'm very realistic. Okay. And it's all really based on how much you use your your brushes. Okay. So for those who are wearing makeup every single day, I suggest the once a week. Because to mm -hmm. me that's re very realistic. Right. Now, for those who are not wearing it as often, then I would say mm -hmm. bi bi weekly is fine because you're okay. not really using them that often. Um, mm -hmm. Now, if that's right or wrong, I ain't really <laughs> um, putting my stamp on if it's right or wrong. I'm just telling you what I know to be true for you know people who moving around and it's mm -hmm. last minute and I don't you know I, I don't. Know. Uh, I got to clean my brushes. I don't want them to be wet and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So true. I do suggest cleaning them more often. But I know mm -hmm. personally, firsthand, my mm -hmm. friends, my mama, when I go to my mama's house, I'd be like, Mom, this is ridiculous. I'm surprised <laughs> your face is not on the floor because this is ridiculous. Your brushes <laughs> look a mess. <laughs> oh my God. So let's yeah. talk about the importance of cleaning them. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and what it's doing to our skin when we don't. Well, the thing about makeup brushes is, again, it has the makeup on it, right? So we already spoke about residual makeup. Right. But there's also dead skin cells on it, too. So, oh. you know, when you, you're, you know, doing the skin and so on and so forth, you're sloughing off skin cells as well, and they're sticking right on the brushes. So those dead skin cells, again, that can cause bacteria, bacteria buildup. And once you're doing that and you're applying it every single day or, you know, however, however often you're doing it, it's the same thing. You're still causing breakouts by doing that, too, because you have just the skin cells on there. Same thing, you know, same concept with pillowcases as well. But with makeup yeah. brushes, it's, I, it's a direct, you know, it's a direct application. And then you have the makeup and you mix all that together and you have a wonderful concoction for breakouts and acne. Mm, you guys... Mm -hmm. What's happening here in the comments? What's going on? Do we need do we need to clean our brushes or what? I know we got some some people mm -hmm. not the walk of shame, AJ Small <laughs> twin. Twin mm -hmm. not the walk of shame. She says she's going to clean her brushes now. Uh butterfly diva. Hey D, she mm -hmm. said you did not have to bust me out like that. Y'all <laughs> We just helping it in love. That's all it is. We cousins okay. here, so you know how cousins talk, y'all. <laughs> y'all know how cousins talk. Go wash, go wash your little nasty brushes so you can fall off. My goodness. <laughs> so go wash your little nasty brushes so we can look cute forever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is a good question as well. Um. So the real Miss Butterfly, which is Melissa, one of my students, is asking how often should we clean our makeup palettes? So mm. you guys, your makeup palettes are being, um, you know, what you're transferring your brushes to the makeup, the makeup palette. Mm -hmm. Now, if you start off with a clean brush, which you should if you're going to be doing your eyes, mm -hmm. you start off with a clean brush, then you should be pretty much okay. However, 
they make um makeup disinfectant spray. Mm. Um it's called Beauty So Clean. Beauty So Clean. They Ooh. make spray that you can actually spray. They make sanitizing wipes that you can actually use to wipe okay. it. This is again beauty so clean. And you can you can clean your palettes after every use. I didn't even know that. Clean your palettes. Mm -hmm. You can oh, clean wow. your palettes after okay. every use. Um, and the only reason why I know is because I was in the industry for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And your new clients, you have to, you know, keep everything sanitized. Right. Um, so you can use that as well. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as your um, other makeup, your powders and all those things, you can use the exact same product. Okay. Now, I, I don't clean... I don't clean my palettes and my personal stuff. I don't clean any of that because it's all my skin. Mm -hmm. now, you should, you should. But I try to make sure I'm. St I try to make sure I'm starting with clean brushes, which is actually mm -hmm. touching the product in the first place. Right. Okay. Um, Absolutely. Another thing is, ninety-one percent alcohol is a mm. great disinfectant, and it also mm -hmm. dries very quickly. Mm hmm. You can use that to clean, like a quick clean on your eye brushes. I wouldn't mm -hmm. suggest it for like your skin okay. um, brushes. I it's a deep clean on your face brushes. But if you're switching out your eyeshadows and things like that, then mm -hmm. I would take a little bottle. I got this from Walmart, and this is just 91% alcohol. Okay. Okay. Not, not 70 I'm not saying 70. I ain't talking about the green rub and alcohol. Mm -hmm. Green is the rub on them scars. I'm talking about 91%. 91, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so what I'm gathering is mm -hmm. bacteria is harmful, very harmful to, to us. And even though that sounds trivial, mm -hmm. It's real. It is. It's real. So it definitely is. We really have to pay attention, especially if you are one who is struggling with mm -hmm. your skin being sensitive to makeup. You're struggling with. You're the person who like you know. Damn if I do. Damn if I don't wear makeup because it still ain't gonna look good on my skin. Yeah, exactly. We have to take extra precautions, and even though. Makeup is not a serious topic, so to speak. So it's not, you know, it's not health. It's not mm -hmm. diet. It's not nutrition. It's not, um, you know, fitness. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, work or career. Right. And so we think makeup should be more simple because it's not serious. Exactly. And that's, that's just not true. Mm -hmm. You know, makeup has layers to it that does deal with your skin. And exactly. it really is about prioritizing taking care of you. Mm -hmm. And I think you are more important than a lot of these other things that we deem important. Mm -hmm. You are important. So Absolutely. we just touched on three um, three harmful habits. Let's just throw in this last one that LaWanda mm -hmm. mentioned, which was diet. Uh, I definitely agree with LaWanda. I know when I would drink mm. Bright, which I love me a good strong burning Sprite, <laughs> I would get a little, a couple of bumps right here, mm -hmm. you know, right there. Um, so, how do you feel that diet plays a role in how our skin um, shows up? Mm -hmm. I think it plays a huge role. I mean, you see schools of thought, even people with like huge degrees, even doctors saying, especially the dermatologist saying it may, it has no impact. I just saw that the other day somewhere, and it's just totally not true. Like when you see all the vegans, right? The ones in their 70s, their 80s, and 90s. Can you not tell me that their skin is scratched right across their face like they is taut, okay? Skin shining and glistening. And you're like, you're how old? You can't tell me that food does not impact what your skin looks like. Yes, it takes a while for the food to finally get to the outermost layer of your body, which is your skin. But it does impact it. And I did a test myself. Like, I know if I eat mess, a lot of fried things, a lot of sweet things. It's just like, and then you wait a couple of days, you start to see, not only may you get a pimple here or there, but your skin starts to look dull because you're not giving it the nutrients that it needs to survive. You know, if you're giving it like 
you know, like plants and things like that that have nutrients. That your body's using that, of course, you know, it's, it's using some of its waste, but then it's using the rest to nourish your body. So if it's nourishing your body, of course, it's going to show up on your skin. It just does. I mean, I, I believe it holistically. I do. Um, yeah. You know, people talk about, you know, just drinking water. Yeah, drinking water is great, but you have to follow up and do everything else with it as well. You know, you're going to drink a lot of water. You're going to pee a lot, of course. Yes. So I saw a meme that said, um, y'all told me to drink water for clear skin and all I got is pee. No, you got to <laughs> do more than, you know, you got to do more than just drink water. But the water itself, like, that is my main drink of choice. And I'm pretty bad because it's like, if it's not water, sometimes I won't drink anything. And that's equally as bad. Because you can have oily mm -hmm. skin and dehydrated skin at the same time. Because dehydrated doesn't equal dry. And how you know that is because your your skin just lacks that luminosity. It kind of looks like it's kind of like film looking in a way. Your skin just looks dull. And your skin can really be dehydrated and oily at the same time if you don't give it the proper nutrients of what it needs to survive. It just, wow. that's just how it is. Yeah, so, I, I want y'all to put a water emoji in the comments. I want to put some water emoji in the comments. Dehydrated skin does not equal dry. That right there, especially if you are oily a combination, you guys. Mm -hmm. That is so, so key. Just because when your skin is dehydrated, it's mm -hmm. pumping. It's pumping, trying to overwork yes. yourself to figure out how can I hydrate myself? But nothing is coming mm -hmm. out except oil, more oil. So exactly. that lets you know that you need to drink more water, that you mm -hmm. need to consume more more water in your system. And even if you have to put a little flavor in it, drop a little, you know, something some in lemon, it, some cucumber, to, something, something. Drink more water mm -hmm. because that is very important. Um, sugars and you know. Uh, smoking and you know all those things we put in our body it has to come out some kind of way mm -hmm. and one way is through the pores of our skin Definitely. so y'all think about it you know how you can tell a smoke about the color of their lips mm -hmm. you know, what we put in our bodies did not affect how it came out then we wouldn't be able to tell exactly. any evidence here. you know what I'm saying so we definitely have to be mindful of what, what we're eating. Mm -hmm. Now, the solution to all of this, we talked about mm -hmm. four harmful habits. One, not double cleansing. Two, mm -hmm. sweeping in your makeup. Three, okay. uh, not, not cleaning your makeup tools. And then four, our bonus was your diet. You guys, mm -hmm. the solution is to treat the skin underneath. So, Marsha, I want you yeah. to just share um your product and how it has really impacted women who has um used it and if you've used very clear skin say something in the comments look wrap your set <laughs> well so how let me can they use your product to help them okay so this serum you so you know you use a cleanser you go in with your toner if you use a toner and the big thing about a toner is a lot of times we feel like we need a toner a toner is really there to make your skin back pH balanced again. So a lot of people think, okay, I need a toner. Not really. If your cleanser is already pH balanced and it'll say it on the cleanser, then you can actually skip the toning step unless, say, you need to exfoliate. And that's a whole nother shebang, too. That's another skincare tip that I really do recommend is exfoliation because that helps get rid of the dead skin cells as well. Because if you're trying to get rid of dark spots and any kind of facial stuff you got going on, exfoliation helps the skin turnover. Because as we get older, um, skin turnover, skin cell turnover takes a little longer, right? And that turnover is also what affects your results. So say if you're using things, but you still have like the, the residual, you know, dead skin cells on top of it, you're not really going to see um, your results. You have to slough off those layers so that you can go in and, you know, put in the rest of your products so you can really get the results that you're looking for, okay? So a basic skincare regimen, you cleanse, you tone if you need to, and then after the toner, that's when you add in very clear. And I created this as a spot treatment so that it goes in, you put on your dark spots. Um, It has kojic acid, it has, and kojic acid actually comes from uh, fermented rice. You have alpha arbutin that comes from bearberries and cranberries. There's vitamin C to give your skin that luminous glow. 
Um, there's turmeric, of course. There's aloe. Um, there's even argan oil, which is a really great, luxurious oil for your skin. Nothing but top notch. I am not putting coconut oil in nothing up in here. And um, so it's a really good spot treatment that, I mean, people from across the globe use. Like when I get the DMs about how people have really like incorporated it into their regimen and they're getting such bomb results, it really warms my heart. So after you put the serum on, you lock it all in with a moisturizer and then you're good to go. I recommend using it at night, but some people like to use it during the day. Either way, when you do use it, anytime you're using a dark spot treatment of any kind and any brand, you got to use your, your um, sunscreen. You have to use your sunscreen because what happens is when you use um, products that are for dark spots, whether it's this or not, the sun kind of like looks at your skin. It's kind of like when you're at a barbecue and there's a burger right there and the fly comes to it. Here go your skin. <laughs> and here's the fly. The sun is looking at your skin like, oh, I'm get it. Oh, I'm for the oh. So you have to put on your SPF during the day whenever you try to treat hyperpigmentation and then you put your makeup on on top of that. And I know a lot of people are like, well, how am I supposed to reapply? There's um spray SPFs and they also have SPFs that are in a powder form too. A lot of brands have those. So again, you cleanse your skin, tone if you need to, put the serum on the dark spot, and then you put your moisturizer on. And then if it's during the day, use your SPF. These days, they have a lot of sunscreens that have moisturizer in it. So you could even skip the moisturizing step. I know people are like, why are you telling people to skip that? Because you can. There's some moisturizers out here that do what they need to do. They have so many good hybrid products right now that... You, you can skip that step, but that is what it's made for. And like I said, I am so proud of the product. I do plan on releasing the full skincare line by the end of the year, you know, fingers crossed. But one thing I do is I always um, coach my clients, my customers, like, hey, they, because one thing about me, like, you can talk to me. I am not like, well, I'm not going to respond to no DMs because I'm Apple. Well, I'm just like you. I buy stuff. I eat, sleep, and it's just like everybody else. They'll ask me, well, what do I use with this? What do I use with that? Um, what kind of cleanser? And I, you know, I straight up, I'll tell you, even if it's not my brand, I will tell you, but I have to know what your skin type is first. Um, if you're sensitive, there's certain acids that I recommend over others and we get it together. So I just got like this bomb before and after the other day. I can't wait to post it. This girl, she did, she did the work. She did the work. And overall, I would say consistency and dedication. Cause another thing that people do is that when they have dark spots, and they'll use the product for two days and be like, it ain't working. Listen, if you didn't have some dark spots for five to 10 years, especially like if it is from ingrown hairs, PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, if you've had dark spots for that amount of time, you have to give yourself time. It's kind of like getting out of a bad relationship. If you've been in that relationship for five years, you're not going to get over it in two days, maybe not even a year. It's going to take some time. Just like you're going to take some time to heal out of that, you got to take some time to, for your skin too. Don't sit up there and get impatient because ain't nothing, even the strongest products that's going to make your skin fall off, it ain't going to happen in one day. <laughs> so okay, can it be used on the entire here. thing? Okay. I think we see so the same one. can it be one. used for the, entire, for the entire face? Okay, so a lot of my customers use it for the entire face just fine. Um, since this is the bottle right here, I always recommend for the first seven to 10 days, um, you just use it on your dark spots, see how your skin likes it, so on and so forth. And then you can apply it to your skin, but it is a spot treatment and it's a bit on the thicker side for a, a spot treatment. So that's why I created it. This is the bottle right here and you know, it slides up. So we don't, you know, you're not going to lose the top. You just slide it up like this home and then you pump out a little, little piece. If, if you want to pump, there you go. And that's it there, if you can see. And then you apply it to your dark spots. I say, let's just imagine we have that one right there. And the way that it is, it's going to glide right on in. Bomb, there you go. Bomb. See? There, bomb. Glide it. Uh-huh. Glide on. Go ahead and, you know, do your thing. Mm -hmm. Absorb. And there you go. And it's yes. yellow and it's yellow because of the turmeric. And so that's what it's created to do. So you definitely can. But to make it go a little, you know, make it last a little longer, I just say dark spots, but a lot of people put it all over their face and they're good. Um, but again, it just depends on your skin type and um, your sensitivity and what you're trying to achieve. Um, so, yeah. That's awesome. what it is. Listen, y'all. Marsha has a question. 
has given us the routine keys, okay? So let's type it in the bottom of the comments. Number one, cleanser. Go ahead and put that down in the comments. Number one, you're going to cleanse your skin, right? Mm -hmm. Cleanse your skin. Number two, toner. If you're going to use a toner, which is good for balancing the pH in your skin, you can do this step here. Not everyone mm -hmm. has to use a toner. And then she, she briefly mentioned exfoliation, which is definitely going to help cleanse any dead skin, skin cells. Now, I will say this. Y'all, over exfoliating will make your skin raw. Well, yes, so it you will. you think you got sensitive skin and you really don't, you just need to put the exfoliation down. Yes. Okay? You, you overdoing it, so don't overdo it. Then next, you will use the dark spot treatment, which is from Berry Clear Skin. You will use the dark spot treatment, which is her serum, her signature serum. Mm -hmm. And she suggests that you use it at nighttime. Okay? Nighttime. Mm -hmm. All right? So we'll use Berry Clear Skin after exfoliation. She also said that you must use what? This is a this is this is a pop quiz now. What must you use if you're gonna use that dark spot serum from Berry Clear Skin? What must or you also if, use? if you have hyperpigmentation and say you're not even using the serum, there's this one thing that you need to use during the day. If you're driving, because people feel like you gotta be laying out in the sun. No, if you're driving, if you on the bus. If excuse me, if you in the Uber, if you buy a window, if you at work. Come on. Okay, there we go. Sunscreen. There we go. <laughs> Lady Alexander is Anisha. Anisha, you want a second brush set? <laughs> Let me know if you want a second brush set. I, I know she already got hers. And then Danny was the second one. I I don't um I don't Ooh. recognize Danny's name. So if you don't have makeup brush, set, let me know. One time put a whole regimen. Somebody put the whole regimen in, in the comments. That's what I'm talking about. That, yes, I know that's Ooh. right. That's deep right there. D and Melissa. I love that. You guys, this has been so so fruitful. So listen, let me just take a quick pause for the calls. I'm gonna do a quick little commercial break and then we're gonna come back and close out, you guys, with our biggest secret and key. Um, and so, you guys, this live is brought to you by Very Clear Skin and Matter Brushes, you guys. Matter Brushes is the perfect brush set for makeup beginners who struggle with understanding what steps they should take in their makeup routine. These brushes are numbered in the order that you should use them. They are named after your next step, and they're shaped so that you can get a better blend much faster. Absolutely. You want to get your hands on these. So that you can feel confident in front of your mirror and your makeup, knowing what you should do and getting the results that you want. So you can visit matterbrushes.com. And if you want a free holder, which you should definitely have, so you won't end up looking like this, confused, because you don't know what's in here. If you want a free holder, use the code VIP1111. VIP 1111 after you add both of these to your cart and I'll send you one of these for free. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay. So you guys, yeah. Marsha touched on it, but we have learned so much, so many tips. What's your mm -hmm. biggest takeaway? Tell us in the comments, what's your biggest takeaway from today's live? What is your biggest takeaway from today's live? What have you learned? I am just, I'm just so grateful, Marsha. Let me get my thank you speech while they're putting that No up. problem. No problem. <laughs> oh, and also, while yes. we here, um, everybody on today's live can get 20% off today if you use the code MAKEUP20. Yay! <laughs> MAKEUP20. I don't you know. Get I... You get a code. You get a code. You get a code. Oh, I'm going to put it up there. Thank you so much, Marsha. You're welcome. Let me try. I don't thank know how to pin. Because that ain't my thing. Hold on. Say it again. I said, I was trying to pin it, but I don't know how to pin it. But it's Makeup 20. So, um, okay, if you makeup, do, they camera, got you. It's Makeup 20. Um, awesome. Thank you so much. Listen, you today are. has been so much. 
so fruitful not just i don't think just for my audience but for me as well um just being able to break down some of these what can seem like a big cloud of information to be able to break that down for um our people so mm -hmm. they can feel more confident and they can have solutions you know i saw a lot of them like oh that's what the problem was or man mm -hmm. i'm gonna do this today and I think that that is what makes the biggest impact. So I really appreciate you for um, welcome, agreeing, mm -hmm. you know, to, to hop on with me. It has been a fantastic time. So you guys, the biggest secret and key, which Marsha touched on this, is consistency with anything. Mm -hmm. If you ever want to get better at anything, good or bad, you have to be consistent in doing it. Absolutely. Because the more you do it, the more it becomes ingrained into your mm -hmm. routine, becomes a habit, and it becomes who you are. And I want to be a person who cares about their skin. I want to mm -hmm. be a person who cares about her confidence. I want to be a person who um, cares about how she shows up, how she looks, how she presents herself. I don't want to be the person that runs to the back of the room when they say, we're about to take pictures, y'all. I don't want to be the one in the back. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm. So true. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be her. I mean, I don't have to be in the front of the room, but I at least want to feel comfortable saying, yes, I, I, I can take a picture. Yes, let's do family Absolutely. pictures. Yes, let's get in this selfie together. Um, and yeah. I think that this starts in deep, you guys. Um, so mm -hmm. be consistent. Be consistent. I we we ca we have to stop giving ourselves excuses. We hate when other people give us excuses on why they didn't do something or why why wasn't this. But we don't even hold ourselves accountable. You know what are we gonna yeah. do for our mm -hmm. Um, uh, what commitments are we gonna make and keep? Absolutely, we got got to make mm -hmm. it. And we gotta keep it. <laughs> yep. If we want to do and be better, okay. Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to live flawlessly. I want you to feel confident. I want you to actually believe, because that's all confidence is. Confidence is just a belief that you can do something, and that's I want it. you to believe that you can actually have a flawless skin because it's real. It's possible. Mm -hmm. I want you to believe that you can actually enjoy and love how you look without getting in the mirror, criticizing every little bump, every little dark spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I could just get rid of this. Oh, we are so mean to ourselves. I know. We are so mean to ourselves. And because we're the only ones that can do something about it. Exactly. And I feel like at the end of the day, it's normal. You know what I'm saying? Hyperpigmentation is, is normal. Acne is normal. All of it is normal. Now, we may not like the way it looks, but I feel like the biggest confidence booster for me is just accepting myself as I am. And then as things get better, I'm even more bummed. You know what I mean? But yeah. it took a, a lot out of me to just be able to present myself, you know, without makeup. And like I said, I look like a clown anyway, but I try to put it on. So it's like, well, you're going to figure something out. So it wasn't honestly until I started letting my skin breathe from time to time that I really started getting, you know, comfortable. Yes, skin is skin, you know. I break out just like everybody else, but understanding what makes your skin break out and doing the things that can lessen and reduce those breakouts is definitely key. Such are the thing, you know, the things that we discussed today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys, what I want you to do, especially my crew who's here, I want you guys to go over to Very Clear Skin. I want you to show her some love on her page. Go to her last post. I want you to comment and let her know what your biggest takeaway was. Let her know you appreciate all her knowledge today. I want you to go and visit the website and get that dark spot treatment uh, serum from Very Clear, Clear Skin. You guys, it's award winning. And if you if you value Beyonce, Beyonce like it too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she recognized it too, so Make sure that you hop that you hop over. Marsha, thank you. Thank you. Hey Lauren girl. I see what about driving here too. <laughs> yes. I, I appreciate you. that. Is there anything that you want to add before we close? Um no, just thank you so much for having me. Um, you know, lives are not my theme. So for you to actually <laughs> 
unearth me, you know you are absolutely special. <laughs> you and all, I mean, your, your tribe are like the bomb.com. Y'all are so great. So thank you so much. And remember, the code is MAKEUP20. It expires uh, midnight Make tonight. Up 20, so, MAKEUP20, y'all. Um, MAKEUP20. But just keep these tips in mind. Um, these are the most, honestly, the most beautiful set of brushes I've ever seen. In my life, so I have to have something separate for it. It can't go like in a regular <laughs> schmack on the place. We gotta go. <laughs> Please, well, I appreciate you so much, you guys. You're welcome. Thank you so much, everybody who commented, hit the like button, hit the like button. You were taking notes. You got. I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all so much. And we'll see y'all another time. We'll be back, y'all. So we'll see y'all another okay. time. Y'all have a great Sunday. You too. <laughs> bye, y'all. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.